After months of talks about a medium to long-term supply partnership related to automotive batteries, Subaru and Panasonic Energy have signed what they call a basic cooperative agreement. The deal covers the supply of cylindrical automotive lithium-ion batteries for Subaru's further all-electric car models. Discussion on the topic started in July 2023. At the time it became clear that Subaru was interested in Panasonic's latest high-capacity cylindrical batteries, potentially the 4680 type, a diameter of 46 mm and height of 80 mm, or similar, 46xx, rather than prismatic or laminated formats. Panasonic intends to launch the first 4680 type batteries in April-September 2024. Today, Subaru's only all-electric car model on the market, Subaru Solterra, is equipped with prismatic battery cells supplied by CATL for a 72.8 kWh battery. The car itself is also made by Toyota, which speaks to Subaru's latecomer status in the EV world. In the future, the battery systems might be significantly different than today because the manufacturers are aware that they have to reduce costs, improve energy density, and potentially make the batteries a structural part of the vehicle. Panasonic is preparing to meet the requirements of the next-generation all-electric vehicles and engages in talks with automakers about what they need before triggering multi-billion dollar investments. Besides Subaru, a similar discussion was established with Mazda. Of course, Panasonic is also a major battery supplier for Tesla and the company expects to produce 4,680 type batteries for the Texas-based automaker. The recent basic agreement between Subaru and Panasonic most likely includes some interesting targets, but as of today, no details have been shared, details regarding specific projects considered for collaboration will be communicated at the appropriate time. We can only connect the dots about Subaru's EV plans, including volume sales in the US, with strict requirements for local EV battery production in North America and Panasonic's plan to expand battery manufacturing capacity in the US. Let's recall the main points from Subaru's global electrification plan. The EV share, 50% by 2030. About 600,000 units out of an expected 1.2 million total. Lineup, 8 models, including 4 crossovers slash SUVs by the end of 2026. Some models will be produced in Japan, some in the US. US target, 400,000 BEV sales by 2028, about half of the total volume. If Subaru can pull this off, it will go from being almost a non-entity in the EV space to one with many more electric offerings for future customers. Hello and welcome back to EV's Queen, thank you for subscribing us. We provide the most recent and updated news about electric mobility every day. We're thrilled to introduce three unique membership levels on our channel, Circuit Squires, Tesla Knights, and Volt Sovereigns. Each level offers its own set of exclusive perks and content, perfectly suited for your passion for electric vehicles. As a member, you'll play a vital role in supporting our mission to deliver 12 engaging video updates daily about the latest in the electric vehicle world. Your membership not only helps sustain our efforts, but also brings you closer to the heart of the EV community. The Japanese company will produce 2,170 cylindrical battery cells in Kansas, was already known before the start of construction in DeSoto, near Kansas City, in November 2022. This cylindrical cell template is used by Panasonic's major customer Tesla in some versions of the Model 3 and Model Y, for example, and these cylindrical cells are also produced in the jointly operated Gigafactory 1 in Nevada. Even before construction began, there were rumors that the large volume 4,680 cylindrical cells for Tesla could also be produced there. At that time, Panasonic had already put its pilot line in Japan into operation and also delivered the first 4,680 sample cells to Tesla. Officially, however, the Kansas plant has remained a pure 2,170 production facility to this day. According to a report by Nikkei, however, this could change in the course of this year. According to a person familiar with the matter, the investment could be roughly the size of Panasonic's current DeSoto plant. So far, there has been talk of an investment of around 4 billion US dollars, the equivalent of 3.65 billion euros. If the informant statement is correct, the Japanese would be investing a total of up to 8 billion dollars in Kansas. 
the additional capacity is to be used for the production of 4,680 cylindrical cells. So far, Tesla in particular has favored this cell format. Although other car manufacturers are also switching to large volume cylindrical cells with a diameter of 46 mm, they use a different format. BMW is also using cylindrical cells in the upcoming new class, but these are higher than 80 mm. In its article, the portal Teslarati refers to earlier reports according to which Panasonic is said to have already spent a considerable part of its original investment budget on the DeSoto site due to the construction costs in the USA. An expansion would therefore probably not be possible with funds from the original budget, which is why a new investment decision must be made. The latest information fits in with the rumors from 2022 and the long-standing partnership between Panasonic and Tesla. However, it is not known if and when Panasonic could supply 4,680 cells from Kansas to Tesla. Although the plant has been under construction for almost a year and a half, no cells have yet been produced there. If the basic infrastructure is already in place, an expansion could presumably be realized more quickly. However, it is also clear that not only Panasonic wants to ramp up 4,680 production, but also competitors such as LGS. Thanks for watching, have a great day.